you don't need to make drastic changes to declutter your life. By taking small steps to remove things that drain your energy, you create room to cultivate what genuinely motivates you. This gentle process of eliminating negativity, be it physical clutter in your living space or toxic thought patterns in your mind, brings forth freedom. The sense of lightness lifts a burden off your shoulders and greatly enhances your inner peace. Today, we're going to delve into the wisdom of the legendary samurai Miyamoto Musashi and discuss 12 things you should quietly eliminate from your life. Number 1. Cutting off. Toxic relationships. Toxic relationships drain your energy and hinder your personal growth. Musashi emphasized the importance of surrounding oneself with people who inspire and uplift. It's essential to quietly distance yourself from relationships that bring negativity and stress. Toxic relationships are like a fog that clouds our vision and hinders our journey towards self-improvement. They drain our energy, distract us from our goals, and often leave us feeling emotionally exhausted. Miyamoto Musashi emphasized the importance of surrounding oneself with people who inspire, uplift, and contribute positively to our lives. Cutting off toxic relationships doesn't necessarily mean severing ties abruptly or creating conflict. Instead, it's about quietly distancing oneself from relationships that bring negativity, stress, and hinder personal growth. It's about recognizing the impact these relationships have on our mental and emotional well-being and making a conscious decision to move away from them. This process can be challenging, especially when these relationships involve close friends or family members. It requires a great deal of self-awareness, courage, and determination. However, it's crucial to remember that we have the right to choose who we allow in our personal space. We have the right to surround ourselves with positivity and people who encourage us to be the best version of ourselves. Cutting off toxic relationships also means letting go of grudges and resentment. Holding on to negative emotions only harms us and hinders our progress. Musashi taught the art of Mizu no Kokoro, or mind like water, which means to let go of things that disturb the tranquility of our mind just like water flows around obstacles without getting disturbed. So, cutting off toxic relationships is not about harboring ill feelings or wishing bad for others. It's about prioritizing our mental and emotional health, fostering positive relationships, and making room for growth and positivity in our lives. As Musashi said, do nothing that is of no use. If a relationship is not contributing positively to our life, it might be time to let it go. Number two, adjusting goals. Privately, Musashi taught the importance of having a clear vision and working towards it with determination. Adjust your goals privately, allowing your actions to speak louder than words. This prevents unnecessary distractions and keeps your focus sharp. Miyamoto Musashi, in his teachings, emphasized the importance of having a clear vision and working towards it with unwavering determination. He believed that the path to achieving one's goals is a personal journey, often requiring introspection, self-discipline, and resilience. In line with this philosophy, adjusting your goals should be a private affair. It's about recalibrating your path based on your personal growth, experiences, and changing circumstances. It's about allowing your actions to speak louder than words. When we adjust our goals privately, we prevent unnecessary distractions and keep our focus sharp. This doesn't mean you should isolate yourself or avoid seeking advice. It simply means that the process of setting and adjusting your goals should be primarily driven by your own understanding of your capabilities, aspirations, and the reality of your situation. Musashi's teachings remind us that our goals are not set in stone. They are dynamic and should evolve as we grow and learn. A 
Adjusting our goals is not a sign of weakness or failure. On the contrary, it's a sign of maturity and adaptability. It shows that we are in tune with ourselves and are not afraid to make necessary changes to align our goals with our current reality. Adjusting goals privately, according to Musashi's teachings, is about being true to oneself, maintaining focus and embracing change. It's about understanding that the journey towards achieving our goals is just as important, if not more, than the destination itself. As Musashi said, the ultimate aim of martial arts is not having to use them. Similarly, the ultimate aim of setting goals is not just to achieve them, but to grow and learn in the process. Number three, keeping relationship endings. Confidential endings are a natural part of life. Musashi believed in accepting change gracefully. His teachings inspire us to handle the endings of relationships with dignity and respect. Keep relationship endings confidential to maintain dignity and respect for all parties involved. Relationship endings, whether they are romantic, platonic or professional, can be challenging and emotionally charged. However, Musashi's philosophy encourages us to view these endings not as failures, but as part of the natural cycle of life. Just as seasons change, relationships too can run their course. Keeping relationship endings confidential is about respecting the privacy and feelings of all parties involved. It's about handling the situation with maturity and understanding without resorting to public discussions or airing grievances. This approach not only maintains the dignity of everyone involved, but also allows for personal healing and growth. In the heat of the moment, it might be tempting to share details or vent frustrations. However, Musashi's teachings remind us to exercise restraint and discretion. He believed in the principle of suijetsu, which translates to moon in the water. It's about reflecting on our actions and their potential ripple effects, much like the moon's reflection creates ripples in a body of water. So, keeping relationship endings confidential, as per Musashi's teachings, is about navigating change with grace, maintaining personal dignity, and respecting the privacy of others. It's about understanding that endings are a part of life and handling them with the same courage and integrity with which we handle beginnings. As Musashi said, there is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within, everything exists. Seek nothing outside of yourself. This includes the strength and wisdom to handle relationship endings with grace and confidentiality. Number four, managing emotions discreetly, Miyamoto. Musashi was a strong proponent of emotional self-mastery. He believed that while emotions are a natural part of the human experience, they should not dictate our actions or cloud our judgment. Managing emotions discreetly is about acknowledging our feelings without letting them control our behavior. It's about understanding that emotions are transient, like passing clouds in the sky, and not the defining factor of our identity or decision-making process. Discreet emotional management also involves respecting the emotional boundaries of others. It's about expressing our feelings in a way that is considerate and respectful without imposing our emotional state on others. This approach fosters healthier relationships and contributes to our own emotional well-being. Number five, avoiding negative judgments. Negative judgments often stem from our own insecurities and fears, and they can significantly cloud our perception of reality they create a distorted view of the world around us, which can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and missed opportunities. By eliminating negative judgments, we can develop a more open and accepting mindset. This allows us to understand and appreciate the world in its true form, leading to personal growth and enlightenment. 
it encourages us to approach situations and people with curiosity and openness rather than preconceived notions. Avoiding negative judgments can improve our relationships with others. When we stop judging, we start listening and understanding, which fosters empathy and compassion. It helps us to see the world from different perspectives, enriching our own experiences and understanding. Number six, ending constant comparisons. Constant comparison is a distraction that can lead us astray from our own unique path. It's a habit that breeds discontentment as it shifts our focus from our own progress to others' achievements. This can result in feelings of inadequacy and a lack of fulfillment. Musashi encourages us to focus on becoming a better version of ourselves each day. This involves acknowledging our strengths, working on our weaknesses, and setting personal goals that align with our values and aspirations. It's about personal growth and self-improvement rather than competing with others. By ending constant comparisons, we can cultivate a mindset of self-compassion and acceptance. We learn to appreciate our own journey with its unique challenges and victories. This shift in perspective allows us to find joy in our own progress and fosters a sense of inner peace. Number seven, using social media consciously. Using social media consciously means being aware of the time and energy we invest in it. It involves setting boundaries to prevent it from consuming our lives. This could mean limiting the time spent scrolling through feeds, consciously choosing who to follow, and being mindful of the kind of content we consume and share. Musashi's teachings also remind us to not let social media dictate our self-worth. In a world where likes, shares, and followers are often seen as measures of popularity or success, it's important to remember that our value extends far beyond these superficial metrics. By applying Musashi's teachings to our digital lives, we can transform social media from a potential source of stress and anxiety into a tool for personal growth, connection, and positive impact. As Musashi taught, do nothing which is of no use. This wisdom can guide us in using social media in a way that adds value to our lives and the lives of others. Number eight, freeing oneself from external approval. By freeing ourselves from the need for external approval, we can focus on cultivating our inner strength and self-worth. This involves acknowledging our accomplishments, embracing our unique qualities, and valuing our own opinions and feelings. Self-validation empowers us to make decisions that align with our personal values and aspirations, rather than being influenced by external opinions. It fosters self-confidence and self-esteem, enabling us to lead a life that is true to ourselves. Eliminating the need for external approval is a significant step towards self-empowerment and personal growth. As Musashi taught, respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. This wisdom encourages us to believe in our own abilities and to validate ourselves rather than seeking validation from others. Number nine, handling breakups with grace. Breakups, while painful, are a part of life. They signify the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. Musashi teaches us to handle these transitions with understanding and compassion, both for ourselves and for the other person involved. Handling breakups with grace also involves letting go of resentment and bitterness. Holding on to negative emotions only prolongs the healing process. Musashi encourages us to release these feelings and move forward with a sense of peace and acceptance. By eliminating the negativity associated with breakups and handling them with grace, we can turn a challenging situation into a catalyst for personal growth and self-improvement. As Musashi taught, today is victory over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. This wisdom reminds us to focus on our personal journey and growth, even in the face of adversity. Number 10. Setting Realistic Expectations 
Setting unrealistic expectations often leads to disappointment when those expectations are not met. This can result in a cycle of negative emotions, including frustration, self-doubt, and decreased motivation. On the other hand, setting realistic expectations can lead to satisfaction, a sense of achievement, and increased self-confidence when those expectations are met or even exceeded. Realistic expectations allow for better planning and preparation. They provide a clear and achievable goal, which can be broken down into manageable steps. This makes the journey towards the goal more structured and less overwhelming. So quietly eliminating the habit of setting unrealistic expectations and replacing it with the practice of setting realistic ones can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life. As Musashi taught, being realistic and honest with oneself is a key step in this process. Number 11. Avoiding Gossip Musashi strongly advised against engaging in gossip. He believed that gossip not only breeds negativity, but also serves as a distraction from personal growth and self-improvement. Gossip often involves discussing others' lives in their absence, which can lead to misinformation, misunderstandings, and even harm to relationships. It can create an environment of distrust and can be a source of unnecessary stress and anxiety. Moreover, it wastes valuable time and energy that could be better spent on productive activities. By avoiding gossip, one can maintain a positive environment and foster healthier relationships. It allows for personal growth and the development of character as one's energy is directed towards constructive activities rather than unproductive chatter. So eliminating the habit of gossiping and focusing more on personal actions and character aligns with Musashi's teachings and can lead to a more fulfilling and content life. Number 12. Fostering Personal Growth, Authenticity, and Positive Relationships Personal growth involves continuous learning and self-improvement. It's about striving to be better each day, learning from our experiences, and being open to new ideas and perspectives. Musashi believed in the power of self-discipline and perseverance in this journey of personal growth. Positive relationships, as per Musashi's teachings, are those that enrich our lives and contribute to our well-being. They are built on mutual respect, understanding, and care. Musashi encouraged the cultivation of such relationships and the elimination of toxic or negative influences. Fostering personal growth, authenticity, and positive relationships is a key principle in Musashi's teachings. By quietly eliminating obstacles to these, we can lead a life that is not only fulfilling and meaningful, but also aligned with our true selves. This, according to Musashi, is the essence of a well-lived life. Overall, the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi offer timeless wisdom on leading a balanced and fulfilling life. By quietly eliminating these 12 things from our lives, we can focus on what truly matters, personal growth, authenticity, and positive relationships.